for the second, probably the third time, where kids are getting to see this, the television series, The Monkees, for the first time and enjoying it. Because it was funny then, it's still mm -hmm. funny. But Mickey's married now, right? Yes. Mickey's married now. He has several children. I bought them all a fudgesicle. Yes, we know that. We went on the bus, and we enjoyed our fudgesicle and talked to Mickey. Well, let's hear what you what had, had to say. To say. Right. Okay. Now, all you wretched boys will leave this embassy and never return. And if you say anything about what you've seen, you will live to regret it. No, we're not going anywhere. We're staying right here. No way, baby. Mm -mm. If you don't leave, then I will be forced to have you killed. <laughs> if that's the way you feel about it, you know a good restaurant? <laughs> Many of you watching this program this morning may have had the experience already of watching monkey episodes, that's right, the monkey episodes, back to back continuously on a weekend. And now it's time, friends, to move on to the next plateau and go on to Mickey Dolan's of the monkeys, the family man. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Introduce your family to us. Um, well, this is my wife, Trina, my wife of nine years. And this is our oldest, Charlotte, who's four. And this is Emily, who's two. And this is Georgia, who's one. And you look in the camera over there and say, hi. Make a face. Make you a silly face, face Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> and what a great idea. Eyes and teeth. Eyes and teeth. Do a little dance now. Charlotte, come on. Do a little dance. <laughs> what a great idea we had for, by providing bicycles for the children and their nice little outfits. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little nice. clean outfit. Not such a good idea, I guess. Well, I guess the obvious question has to be show business, family life, and... How you got them all to work so wonderfully together with three beautiful children. And we don't! It's a madhouse! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what happened. This is last summer when I was asked to do this tour. I was living in England. We live in England. And I'm a producer-director there of television and, and films. And I, uh, quite honestly, didn't want to do it. I was very comfortable over there. Quite a successful career. And they asked me again and again. They upped the... They offers and made it more more viable. And my wife was finally the one that uh, said, "Oh, go on. We'll take the kids around the United States on a summer tour, like a holiday." No. Oh, little did we know. No. With them, it's a holiday. For me, it's go. Now this is much like many country western artists do in some mm -hmm. bands. This is a touring bus run. What's it like traveling around the country now in this bus with the three children? Oh, it's it's sheer luxury. I have to say it. It really is. But we travel at night most of the time. Yeah. We put the kids to sleep on the bus and we travel at night, so we just wake up and, you know, the pool's in a different place. <laughs> <laughs> a different shape. A different shape, but the lobby's in somewhere else, you know, so we're just moving at night, which is much easier. The kids are, are having no problem. We, we're, um, we've had trouble adjusting, especially an old guy like me. Yeah. You know, uh, they're aware of, obviously, that you are one of the monkeys. Yeah. Really. Do the children know this status? I don't know, Charlotte. What do you Charlotte, think about do you, know, do you know your dad's one of the monkeys? Yes. Yeah. Who's your favorite monkey? Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. Right. Here's your dollar. She's a, she's a Peter fan. <laughs> Listen, this might take a lot of be a commercial. What about, what do you think about this revival? You know, Star Trek, people know the lines. Now they're getting into your episodes. Yeah. And all the little shtick and gags that went with it. Kids are going around one more time. What about that? Well, needless to say, I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised. And it's, it's been marvelous. This tour has just exploded into the most... Uh, Exciting and very spontaneous kind of excitement. It, it wasn't promoted. It wasn't um, hyped, and you know, it was something that came very naturally out of the 20-year reunion and then the MTV run of the show, and then the tour. But that all happened uh, unbeknownst to each other. You know, it wasn't all coordinated. So the excitement that's happened has been very genuine, and I think that essentially the show stands up because the humor was. Um, it wasn't topical or satirical. It was kind of Marx Brothers, you know, it's just timeless kind of stuff. And, and the music stands up because there were great songs written by great writers like Carol King and Neil Diamond. And so, uh, Your favorites out of all those hits? I mean, the, the greatest hits of the monkeys you've got. I would say the Carol King ones probably. Uh, uh, as, uh, sometime in the morning, Pleasant Valley Sunday, uh, stuff like that. Knowing 
him as we do with the shtick and running around up and down and taking pies and things, all sorts of things, a woman would have to ask you as his wife, is, is there anything similar to that in real life at home? Yes, definitely. Very, very differently. Off the children. I think they're all hands. They've all taken after him. He is like that in real life. Too. Is Daddy silly? And there's a serious side to him, too. Is Daddy really silly? Yes. He's what does he do at home that's really silly? Your favorite thing that he does? Tickle me. What? Tickles us. He tickles you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got to take a nice close look here. We're almost finished with yes. the first annual Mickey Dolan Fudge Chickle Eating Contest. This is Daddy's silly idea, I can tell you. <laughs> and I do believe this new white outfit is going to uh, set a precedent in design. <laughs> are, you, are you enjoying that Fudge Chickle? Is it nice, Emily? You enjoying it? <laughs> hey, get the microphone out of here. Well, then what happens now then? I mean, uh, you go around a couple of times and uh, you wait for the next set of... Uh, teenagers that come around? Oh, I, I don't know. It, it's very early days. I'm going to uh, ride this current, the uh, crest of this current wave, uh, as long as, as I, as I say, as long as it remains kind of genuine and spontaneous and enthusiastic, then I'm in for the, you know, for the count. Um, uh, I, uh, I don't think I'd want to be out milking it and pushing it and pushing it, you know, for too long because it's not what I do now. I'm, I'm essentially a, a director, a film director. What about Peter and David, the other two with you on this? How do they feel about this? Um, they're obviously very excited too. They're a bit more into the entertainment side of the business than they have been for the last few years, so I suspect they will certainly continue as entertainers, and I might. I don't know. It's uh, really up for grabs right now. I mean, I, I can't. I just don't know. Well, you look fantastic. Thank you. Congratulations and happy anniversary since I won't see you for your 10th and 9th years and three beautiful daughters. It's got to be great to be a monkey. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us.